Hey Virgo, welcome back. Gonna do your weekend reading here. So if you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe if you wanna get a personal reading. There is a link in the description box below this video. Okay, so Virgo, we're looking at your weekend. The weekend of uh, May 3rd through the 5th. And we're gonna see what messages are playing out, what energies are playing out for you guys. Okay, you've got passion again. You had that yesterday. Here you go. Uh, insane chemistry with someone, liking each other equally, having fun. Let's see. And you have love. Yay! <laughs> Unconditional love, self love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. And what else? What else for Virgo? What else for Virgo? This one. Girl talk. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. So, yeah, looks like a social weekend for you, Virgo connecting with some friends, doing something fun over this weekend, spending time with your girls, your guys, whomever your soul tribe is, um, all of you, like, okay, so I'm going to tell you what, this feels to me like it's not necessarily, like, I'm not seeing, I'm seeing platonic love, a platonic kind of relationship with friends over this weekend, okay, um, people that you just really vibe with, people that you gel with, um, some of you are just single, you're moving on, you're being happy, spending time with your friends, loving yourself, and um, just having fun with some people over this weekend. Let's take a look and see if anything else shows up here for Virgo. Hmm. All right, for some of you, there is a new love start somewhere, something happening with new love. Okay, plot twist. All right, definitely an energy. Let me turn these around so you can see it. Definitely an energy of blessings coming in, a blessing of some sort. So you might be going, like for some of you, um, maybe there's a baby shower or a wedding you're attending over the weekend or anything under the uh, marriage, matrimony um, thing. There could be a new baby being born. You're going to see the baby. Jerry, look at the baby. You're going to have a good time um, and this feels mostly like key emotional events. This has to do a lot with a new beginnings happening, okay? Um, so things that will make you very happy where I feel like over this weekend, there's this energy of feeling such immense joy, like your cup runneth over, Virgo. Such immense joy, beauty, harmony, peace, that watery energy, the... I just like it. It's new. It's some kind of new beginning happening. What else do you have? Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is amazing. Could be a nice what a nice weekend weather for some of you. Sunny, warm. Um now if you live in a climate that's not awfully often like that, um then that's pretty much a blessing <laughs> right here. Some of you are just like, thank God the weather's gonna be nice this weekend. But also with the sun, this does represent um, like a baby, children, birth, new beginning, happiness, joy. I'm telling this weekend looks really good. And if you're spending time with some friends or family or doing some social, I just want to see. What does her shirt? Okay. Again, right? Hello, Kim. I don't know, Virgo, for the for the feminines, is that you? Her shirt says yes. Yes. Say yes. Say yes to the dress, Virgo. There's something here about yes, saying yes to something over this weekend. Let's see. Also have Leo energy. Oh wow. You got this seven of cups. So there's definitely something here about you might have a lot of options or choices for you to make over this weekend dreamy feeling like um somebody might ghost you over the weekend and you just kind of turn it around and you're like that's fine i got other things to do i'm not gonna sit and dwell or be sobby <laughs> about something here um i don't know i like your attitude it looks like this weekend you have like a very positive mindset like it's gonna work out no matter what and you have other options showing up here let's see what else what else do you have virgo I love when the read. Oh gosh, I love when it turns out to be pretty much about you. 
you know, and, and because I like when you focus on yourself, Virgo. Okay, so you got the Ten of Cups here. Look at this. Family celebration. This looks awesome. This is happiness, joy. This whole weekend is filled with happiness, joy, fulfillment. You might be going to like some kind of family event as well. Like I said, there could be kids, something over the weekend, an outdoor event as well. Let's see what else is showing up here. Just, it feels like you're with your soul tribe. I mean, A lot of cup energy. Look at this. The Ace of Cups, Seven of Cups, Ten of Cups, and happiness and joy. So it's an emotionally fulfilling weekend. Okay, so here you have the Two of Swords. And, and this is really just about deciding what you want to do. I feel like you're going to have a lot of options. Will you have um, some dating options? Perhaps one, maybe two. Okay, you've got the Seven of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you are working on some kind of craft or a gift to give to somebody over this weekend and you're working on something. Some of you are working until maybe like seven, I'm hearing. So you're either going to go out and your weekend will start after seven when you finish work or um, you go in at seven, but you still find time to do something with some people or attend some kind of events, right? Before that, look at you. Virgo, you look amazing as always here. Single, happy, enjoying your life. You got Libra energy here too. And the Ace of Swords. There might be some communication with a Libra over this weekend also, or another Virgo. But I feel like there's some truth coming out, too. What's this about? They just said there's some... Oh, something in connection to a fire sign. Oh. Oh, you're going to be told a secret over this weekend. So whatever kind of event you're going to, if you're doing something, I, there's a secret coming out. What is the secret? Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> somebody's watching you somebody's spying on you another person knows about this and they're going to tell you about it either they are or they know somebody else who's doing this this is like a, a, a little bit of drama right but i feel like you're going to hear something somebody is pretty much trying to hide the fact that they're watching you they oh my gosh somebody's stressing about you oh yeah so they're just telling me you have a friend or a person that you know or that you're close with who tells you that another person really has it like either they miss you or they're thinking about reaching out to you so if you knew them before and you're not talking there's a missing you energy if you don't know like don't know them or didn't have like a romantic thing with them I hear someone close to you telling you something along the lines of, hey, remember so-and-so? Well, I ran into them the other day and they were asking about you, very curious about you. Um, and they wanted to talk to you or they're thinking about reaching out to you. And I didn't give them your phone number because they wanted to check with you first. That's what I'm hearing. Could be a Pisces, could be a Cancer. Um, and they're really stressed like they're really stressed out about this like they have a there's some anxiety oh okay queen of cups got a lot of people showing up here could be a water sign they have a lot of anxiety and stress about if it's okay to reach out to you they don't know if you're with somebody else wow oh my gosh now queen of wands queen of pentacles queen of cups Wow, this is crazy. Aquarius energy, another earth sign. Well, whatever. I just feel like this person is going to take a chance to come towards you. All right, they're going to take a risk here and come towards you. And they they feel like it's time. This is what I'm hearing. They feel like it's time to talk to you or to travel to you or make a move. Why? Oh, this person wants a serious commitment. We have Scorpio energy here. This person wants a serious commitment. They want, they're, look, they're tired of dating. They're not dating anymore. 
They're cutting people off. They want to be with you. Okay. That's fair. So, you know, you got a couple things going on here. Like I said, I do feel like you're going to be around some people this weekend in some kind of a social setting, some type of celebratory energy, family, friends, whomever. But then you're going to get some word. Somebody's going to tell you about somebody else. Now, you might be in a relationship with someone uh, uh, right now. Okay, I understand that. Um, you might be taken. It doesn't mean that somebody isn't going to tell you about this. What you do with it, it's up to you. But I feel like you're going to hear about this at some event or in some type of social circle. Judgment. Ooh. Okay, so... Virgo, you're having, there's like some kind of awakening that's having, ha happening here for you. And it's in regard to whether or not to run away from something or to stay and fight for it. I feel like this is a different message. There's something crossing your path over this weekend where you don't know whether you should fight for something or you should leave it alone and just get away from it. I don't know what this has to do with, but it's heavy. And I feel like it has to do with the King of Wands, fire energy. It has to do with the King of Wands, whether you should run away from this situation with, with, with a fire sign or whether you should stand your ground, okay? Avoid it or stand your ground. Looks like you're gonna stand your ground with the strength card. Okay, it looks like you're gonna power up here in regards to the situation with the strength card. You got something going on here and, and it's like, I feel like it's revealed to you what you need to do. You get some kind of revelation and it looks to me like the revelation is you need to stand up and fight for your right to party. <laughs> you beastie. Yeah, so that's what I feel like is going on here. I don't know what this has to do with but you have to stand your ground. You may not, maybe haven't wanted to deal with something for a while. It comes to you over the weekend to fight with all your strengths. Courage, courage comes to you. Even with the King of Wands, it could, even if it's with the King of Wands or a fire sign, or it's just you taking on the King of Wands energy where it's like confidence. You get this confidence. You're not going to run away from something. It seems like you're going to deal with something that you've been needing to deal with. Okay. Oh, somebody's coming in to apologize to you for breaking your heart, <sighs> saying sorry, wants to heal a relationship. It could be a Pisces, wants to heal a relationship. They're gonna, there's going to be some messages. There's going to be some communication over this weekend in regard to someone who is like seeing the light of day <laughs> with the hangman. Like this is someone who's, they're taking a, a like a different view of a situation here. And I feel like they're either going to apologize or reach out to you. All healed up. The, the argument's over. Maybe apologize for an argument or try to have a kiss and make up session. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Now you got a king of cups that's also running towards you. It could be that Pisces I was talking about. It could be another water sign. This person's coming in fast, passionate, wants to have fun with you, um, very sexually uh, driven towards you, um, very high confidence. It could be like someone who's admired very well, like very admired. Is that even the right way to say that? Someone who's admired. I don't know what that means. Okay. You know, like they've got people around them that applaud them. Yeah, but they're, it looks like this person is very sexually driven. Um, Knight of Wands. Lusty. Fiery. Passionate. But they're kind of in and out. Be careful, maybe, a little bit. This person has a little bit of a conquering kind of thing about them. Like they need to conquer. A little bit of an ego thing going on. All right. So that's showing up over the weekend. And I'm, I'm not so sure. Like they could be coming towards you make it some kind of offer i'm not so sure i don't see a lot of communication but i will tell you over this weekend this person like there's something they want to like obviously have physical 
type of intimacy with you. Um, they want to be on top. They want you to be attracted to them. All right, there's the Ace of Wands, the Empress. High Priestess. Some of you are going to be... So, I was thinking the other day, you know, the High Priestess is not really so much secrets as it is sacred. Um, you've got some sacred, maybe... I want to say rituals or things that you do beauty rituals or something like that you guys are doing something over this weekend someone's bringing in that magic wand you're getting something done so you know like what i say when i say like sacred say beauty rituals there's there's things that maybe you like to do for yourself beauty wise ma masculine or feminine that you don't really put out there it's kind of a secret like when someone says oh do you get cosmetic surgery like that's nobody's business that's your business so maybe you're going to do that or you have this thought over this weekend that you want to do something along those lines but it's it's like it's a little bit keeping you're keeping something to yourself in regards to your aesthetic over this weekend but i feel like it's something new that you're going to be doing whether you know maybe you're going to go out and try on some new outfits or do something on your own there is also a secret pregnancy um, that I feel like you're going to find out about over this weekend. Now, could it be yours? Sure. Could be somebody else's too. Um, it's sacred knowledge. <laughs> or you intuit that someone you're close to or someone you know actually is having this, there's a pregnancy or you feel it like, oh, is so-and-so pregnant? Like you feel this. And I feel like you're going to have a little bit of a light bulb moment. You're on point about that. It's. I feel like it's true. There's also... Um, some of you, and I'm just going to say this, some of you uh, ladies, okay, not, I'm not doing the feminine masculine here. This is the ladies. You may think, now I'm not talking to every single one of you, but there is a Virgo here who thinks that they cannot get pregnant anymore, maybe due to, you know, changing, uh, going through the change. I have news for you. Be careful because uh, there might be a little bit of something here, like a little miracle or something that might happen. Virgo, be careful with this. Just saying, okay? You might be like, nah, that's not gonna happen, especially if somebody's coming in that lusty energy over this weekend and there's a little boom boom happening. <laughs> okay, you've got the hermit, you've got the world and the page of pentacles. So Virgo, I also feel like um, you're You've been contemplating some new ideas, some financial business opportunities. Um, I feel like this weekend you're actually going to consider these things and uh, maybe start reaching out to um, prospects um, or other uh, people that can help you with money, perhaps in business or something online as well. I feel like this weekend, something maybe you keep keeping it to yourself or trying to figure out what you want to do. Um, reflecting on some type of ideas. It feels mostly, it could have something to do with travel, but it could be online travel as well. Do you know what I mean? Um, I feel like something, like a major awesome idea is going to come to you over this weekend as far as like your business, maybe some business ideas or something that like you can see you're going to make a lot of money. There's going to be like a lot of money to be made. You can see it. Cha-ching! Yeah, so if you're thinking right now or you have this thing like, how can I make more money? I feel like there's some kind of online thing that might come up for you where it's like a cash cow. They're just saying it's like a cash cow, cash cow idea, whatever it is. All right, let's see what other messages you have, messages of love. See what else shows up here for you, Virgo. Okay, play, play hard, find, ta find ugh, I can't talk. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. All right? Very, really important. Um, each other could be you and a uh, one-on-one, -on -one, or it could be you and a bunch of others. You know, each other. Uh, some your friends or people that you are hanging out with over this weekend or have plans with or whatever you're doing. The real, like the strong message is like, just freaking laugh, will ya? Just have a damn good time. Take it easy. Have a couple drinks if you want. I don't know. Go out in the sun. Just have fun. Just laugh. Make everything funny. All right. You also have some time apart. Some distance will bring clarity. 
Okay, there's something going on here on the weekend. Like I said, if there was this ghosting thing that was happening and, and you know, this distance might also give you a little bit of a refresher to try to figure some stuff out because you have other things going on, but then you do have fate. So there is a particular relationship in your life that's destined. It's a destined partnership. It's fated to be together and you have passion, right? Just like we started in the beginning. Insane chemistry with somebody. What did I say? Insane chemistry with someone. Liking each other equally. Having fun. Like I said, this could be with someone in particular or it could just be you and your people. Your soul tribe. All right, financial challenges happening here but like i said you get a like light bulb moment i feel like over the weekend about how to make some money or there's some type of communication you also have a past life lover showing up or past life love or maybe just showing up in your memory they could be it could also be um showing up actually showing up and <laughs> with that you need some boundaries yes virgo firm boundaries are needed with a past life all right, let's see what your Chinese sign is. For those of you listening here, who am I talking to? Which Virgo? Okay, we have, are you a year of the dragon? Year of the, I can't see it, the rat? Year of the monkey? Year of the snake? Year of the ox? Year of the horse? And year of the dog? Okay, so if that's you, that's your message. If it, if it doesn't resonate or if you don't know what your Chinese sign is, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, let me just get, I just wanted to get a couple other random messages to see. There's, oh look, there's the pregnancy. Someone is expecting. Be careful, Virgo. <laughs> Uh, listen, don't be like, oh, it's not me. What are you talking about? Listen, if you know that it's not possible for you to get pregnant, then okay, it's not you. But there may be somebody here who, hmm, I don't know. It could even be like, like um, their, their cycle uh, gets their cycle days mixed up or something happens. All right, what else? You also have pets. Oh, some of you might be getting a new pet, giving a current pet more love all right nice you getting a puppy this weekend or a kitty or a pet you got gambling problems with addiction or gambling bad finances so pay attention to this this weekend here you might be gambling this is problems with addiction or gambling um if that's you or you resonate with that or you think hmm, i might have a problem uh something to reflect on over this weekend all right, you've got intimacy, sexual chem chemistry, and reminiscing with some and reminiscing. Okay, yes, there is a possibility for intimacy this weekend. Watch out for that pregnancy. All right, we're done with that mf -er. Give it time, everything in divine timing. Let things flow. Beautiful. Do you want to see what showed up? Okay, I'll show you that. That showed up, but I'm not going back into that. If you missed my reading in regards to this type of energy, go back to the last two readings. Because you know how I feel about that. That whole narky narc thing. You know how I feel about that. And that whole thing was in that reading. Is it are they showing up again? They could be. Alright, you've got a new passionate start happening this weekend, Virgo. Take hold of that oh girls night out that's twice girls talk girls night out girls are guys yep so i definitely feel like that's a double uh message girl talk girls night out you guys if you um have plans go for it but you might have them show it like uh, the plans might be coming up this weekend you don't you might not know about it yet okay you've got a bossy male who's showing up in your life and that's going to be a fire sign. Could be a boss. They're going to be significant over the weekend. Oh, you also have self. That's the hermit card. This is a message really, Virgo, of just self-love and self-acceptance self over this weekend as best as you can, right? I like that card because it's just about, I feel like the message, just relax and be yourself. I don't know what situation you're gonna be in fully, like 100%, but whatever it is, relax and be yourself. Just enjoy yourself. 
Okay, you also have illusion. Trust your intuition when in doubt of a situation, but remain still until more information is available. I'm hearing don't jump to any conclusions this weekend. I don't know why you need to hear that, but that's a message for you. Okay, hitting rock bottom. Some of you just need to surrender to something. Surrender to the addiction. Surrender to whatever's got you in a twist. Just try and relax, have fun, enjoy your, your weekend. All right, let's get some zodiac signs. Significant will be a Capricorn this weekend. Also a Pisces will be, or I'm sorry, Cancer will be significant. An Aries and a Leo will be significant. September 3rd. All right, someone's born in January. Someone is 38. Okay. We have September 4th, September 16th, September 21st, August 31st, 1965, 1968. Someone is 50. Someone is 32. September 7th. Okay, someone's eating Lay's potato chips. Someone uses Olay, <laughs> you know, like on your face, Olay or your hair, I guess just product. Someone's a district attorney. Oops. Um, YOLO, you only live once. Okay. Um, oil, there's a connection to oil. I don't know if this is fossil fuel. Maybe you need oil in your car. You need to go get your oil checked. Somebody likes to lionize their um, food. Lionize, like put onions and potatoes, I just heard. Onions and potatoes, <laughs> which <laughs> I know there's always food talk in, in my chat. And <laughs> I can't go into the chat because it makes me hungry. But I'm just hearing lionize. I think that's something to do with like onions and uh, onions and potatoes. I don't know. I just heard that. Okay. Uh, somebody's dealing with ADD. Um, the name Ada. Uh, Leo. Ada and Leo. I just heard. Okay. Um, L-A-O. Lao? Lao? Isn't that like a language? L-A-O? Uh, I don't know. I think it is. I heard Addy or Abby. All right. So we have Dylan too. The name Dylan they're giving me. Um, Tagalog? Tagalog. All right. And Yolanda. Yolanda. Um, someone's in LA. Someone's in, okay, they're saying Yugoslavia. I don't think that's still a place, is it? Um, some of you have a, somebody has a migraine or a headache. They need to lay down or they it went away. Now you're listening to this. Something to do with laying down from a migraine. I'm also seeing there's a trip that's going to be delayed. Um, whether it's on a plane or a train or a bus or a meetup there's something that's going to be delayed okay um loda loda okay i feel like i'm missing something here oh i just heard a there's a day event so so we had girls night out some of you might be going out at night masculines or feminines but there's also a day thing going on a girls day out or guys day out there's something somebody's doing something during the day someone's name is aldo i just heard loa mona isn't that a volcano loa mona is gonna erupt volcano is gonna erupt loa mona okay if you're out in that area be safe I hope you be safe. All right, so interesting music is, oh, we have a, a guitar, electric guitar with music. Look at that, 
you guys, something significant regarding music this weekend. Playing in a band, going to see a band, or someone is musical or plays an instrument that you have a connection with. This makes me feel like Hawaii. Uh, and I just said Maulona, but this makes me feel like Hawaii, like a type of tropical flower. Something's happening in Hawaii. I mean, listen, I know that there's some volcano stuff going on, earthquake stuff pretty much all over the world. And I know like Hawaii was ticking up, but I don't know where. So I don't, I mean, I feel like that's significant over this weekend, but more significant, they just gave me Mo. What did I say? Now I can't remember. Loa Mona. Am I saying that right? Or Mona Loa? I'm not sure. I, I'm just hearing it like that. <laughs> okay. Do you also have a candy cane here? Somebody say it might be candy too. Candy cane, very something to do. Maybe you see one over this weekend, which would be kind of strange because it's May, <laughs> you know. Um, but something to do with there's candy canes. I don't know. It could be the name of a lipstick, or you see the word, or you hear it, or you get some peppermint candy, or something. If you see candy cane this weekend at all anywhere, which is like completely odd to see it. It's not the time of year to see them. If you see them, this reading is for you. And that's why I give you guys these quali quali qualifiers. Also, with the guitar, somebody's also learning to play the guitar, too. Now, it could be you or it's connected to you, right? Maybe it's a child. But there is an energy of learning to play the guitar as well. All right, you guys. So I'm going to leave those messages there. That's your weekend. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, do click the like button on the way out if you don't mind. And I will see you guys all back here on Sunday for your weekly reading. Hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Welcome, Charity, back to your, uh, your the Virgo gang, even though I know you're a moderator. <laughs> and I think there was a couple other people I not sure but i will post in the community and give you a shout out if you have joined the virgo channel that hov become a part of the gang so all right you guys have a great weekend and i will see you all back here sunday bye bye oh no blooper where did i put my little thing boop i said stop boop
Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you.